Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, it's official. The um, first devices with the Wi-Fi 7 certification will and are now coming out to the market. Um, so we have different Wi-Fi types. And, of course, depending on the generation of the device you have, uh, you have a different, um, you know, it could be Wi-Fi 6, 5, 4, uh, depending on you know, how, how old your devices are. And each are, of course, are faster and try to give a better coverage. Also, uh, might be more secure with newer security technologies. Um, how to know if what fi Wi-Fi uh, certification you have. Well, you can right-click on your devices, your Wi-Fi uh, icon, go into Network and Internet Settings. And in here, if you look at your uh, connections, uh, here we go, here we go, Properties. And you see here, mine is a Wi-Fi 6H802.11ax. Uh, so this is just the previous, um, the previous technology. So I'm pretty up to date in my Wi-Fi certification. Um, so of course, the new devices are Wi-Fi 7 certified. So that means you can check that out if you wish to do so. And we'll explain why you might want one of those. So now this will work on frequency ranges of 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, like the older devices, but it adds a new band, the 6 gigahertz band and uses ultra wide 320 megahertz channels. So that means the wider it is, the more information you can push through, which means faster connections. So the delivery of these um, routers and devices will of course speed up your internet connectivity. So um, of course to have Wi-Fi 7 uh, all the way, you need to have Wi-Fi 7 compatible devices. So that means if your router is a Wi-Fi 7, your phone needs to be Wi-Fi 7, your computer needs to have a Wi-Fi 7 certified uh, card to reach the maximum speed that you can have with this new certification. Um, why you should or maybe should not, you don't have to, uh, get this new certification depends on what we just talked about, speed. So basically, you have the speed of your internet, and it, of course, on Wi-Fi can be limited sometimes. So I've got gigabit internet here, which means to reach gigabit speed on Wi-Fi, I need to have the latest, greatest technologies. So here, in this case, you see that my aggregated link speeds are 1,201 megabits per second or 1.2 gigabits. So I'm reaching close to my, or sometimes even exceeding my um, internet speed. You do not need to have Wi-Fi 7 or 6 if your internet speed is much slower. Maybe you have, you know, 100 megabits per second internet, high-speed internet. Then Wi-Fi 5 and up is, is okay. Really, this will be for newer technologies and bigger speeds. One thing that Wi-Fi 7 will bring is that new six gigahertz band, since it's not used much, might actually give you pretty good and extended coverage. This is often something that happens when new technologies, people actually take a long time before they move on to newer technologies, so you could be basically the only one in your neighborhood, for example, on 6 gigahertz, which means you'll get the maximum out of all of this. So, new certified Wi-Fi, you don't have to get it, but it's uh, now going to be available through the year 2024. New devices will come out with this. And remember, once again, to have the maximum effect of this, you need to have everything needs to connect through Wi-Fi 7, so your devices also need to be uh, Wi-Fi 7 certified. For the rest, um, anything Wi-Fi 5 and later is fine. If you have things that are very uh, old, you know, Wi-Fi 4, 3, 2, I would suggest it's time to change. Why? Mostly because of security. 
because a lot of the older devices don't have security updates anymore. So you might have security flaws in your devices. So it's not a bad idea to have the latest, greatest devices uh, or at least something recent because the new Wi-Fi 7 certified devices will be expensive. So, you know, you know, you can go to a, a Wi-Fi 6, the previous generation, and it's probably going to be fine and enough for what you need to do. And it's going to cost you less money. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.